Okay, did a little bit of work on this ampler, amplifier, Twister XL 1200. One thing that really baffled me is why the SWR kept drastically changing. In fact, the radio would actually shut itself down because of high SWR. Well, I'm not sure if they put this in from the factory or not, but basically this is an in inductive rheostat, and the inductance, the windings inside this rheostat was causing SWR to shoot up high. So we basically wound up putting a brand new control in here. Now the SWR stains down pretty darn nice, somewhere around a 1.5 if not lower. That's beautiful. Um, it still truly amazes me. Going back to the original OEM design, no output combiner. I repeat, no output combiner. A little bit of retuning on that. And I also took the SD1446 out and put a Toshiba 2290 in there. That's doing pretty nice. Um, let's see. Flip that on. We got lights. No cooling fan. But we're not going to talk on this long. Let's see. Yeah, we got that set right around 250 watt dead key. Audio. Hey. Audio. And the control is way down here. Let's turn it up. Audio. Hitting a thousand watts on that meter. Audio. Sometimes. I've seen 938. No, look right here. 932, 945, 935, hey, hey, hey. It's doing pretty good on power output now. 